anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about percentile rank. What is percentile? Percentile, it is the score at which a specified percentage of scores in a distribution fall below. In example number one, the score of 40 is in the 30th percentile. So it means this is the 30th percentile, or that is the percentile 30, and that is equal to 30%. So how we interpret this one? So that is 30% of all scores are less than, less than 40. How about example number two? A salary of 8,700 is in the 43rd percentile. So this is the 43rd percentile. So that is P sub 43. That is 43%. So how we interpret this one? So that is 43% of all sal salary are less than 8,700. How about the percentile rank? Percentile rank, it is the percentage of scores in each frequency distribution that are equal to or lower than it. In example number one, the percentile rank of the score 50 is in the 30th. So this is the 30th. So the 30th, that is equal to P sub 30, that is 30%. From here up to here, that is 30%. So how we interpret this percentile rank? So 30% of all scores are less than or equal to 50. How about example number 2? The percentile rank of the salary of 10,000 is 43rd. So this is the 43rd, that is P sub 43 and it is equal to 43% from here up to here. So how we interpret this one? So that is 43% of all salary are less than or equal to 10,000. How we compute the percentile rank of ungrouped data? The formula, percentile of x, it is equal to the number of values below x over n, times 100. In example number one, the table shown below is the estimated salary per man. Salary for the principal, head teacher, master teacher, teacher, treasurer, clerk, and bookkeeper. Let us determine the percentile rank of the teacher salary among the other jobs. So this is the teacher salary. So let us identify the percentile rank. The formula, percentile of x, it is equal to the number of values below x over n, multiply it with 100. So if we consider the salary of the teacher as x, the numbers below x, that is 1, 2, 3. So percentile of the teacher is equal to 3 over 7, that is the number of jobs, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 over 7, and then copy 100, times 100. So 3 divided by 7, that is equal to 0 0.43 times 100. 0 0.43 times 100, that is equal to 43. So the percentile, it is equal to 43. So what could be the percentile rank of teacher salary? The percentile rank of the teacher salary is at the 43rd percentile rank.
How about this question? Find how many percent of the jobs has monthly salaries lower than 42,313. This is 42,313 lower than that. The formula, percentile of x, it is equal to the number of values below x over n times 100. So this is the 42,313. Let us represent it with x. And then let us count the numbers below x. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So percentile is equal to 5 over 7 because if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 5 over 7, multiply it with 100. 5 divided by 7, that is 0 0.71 times 100. So the percentile, it is equal to 71. So how many percent of the job has monthly salaries lower than 42,313? So it means... 71% of the jobs have monthly salaries of 42,313 or less. How about above? So that is 100 minus 71, that is 29%. So 29% of the jobs have monthly salaries of 42,313 or more. How about if the percentile rank is in group data? The formula it is equal to P sub PR. PR represent as percentile rank. The answer will be percentage. 100 divided by N. So that is N. That is the total frequency. Multiply it with the quantity P. P represent the row score of value minus LB. LB that is the lower boundary of the K percentile class. Multiply it with the F sub P. That is the frequency of the percentile class over i that is the size of the interval plus cf sub p that is the cumulative frequency of all the values below the critical value So let us find how many percent of the scores are greater than 65 in the mathematics test scores of 50 students. We have the mathematics scores and the frequency. So let us find the interval. The interval that is 90 minus 80 that is equal to 10. So the interval that is equal to 10. And the total frequency if we add here that is equal to 50. Let us find the lower class boundaries. This is the lower limit that is 81, 71, 61, 51, 41, 31, and 21. So let us find the lower class boundaries that is 81 minus 0 0.5 that is 80.5, 71 minus 0 0.5 that is 70.5, 61 minus 0 0.5 that is 60.5, 51 minus 0 0.5 that is 50.5, 41 minus 0 0.5 that is 40.5, 31 minus 0 0.5, that is 30.5. 21 minus 0 0.5, the answer is equal to 20.5. So how about the less than the cumulative frequency? So we will start to the lowest class interval. So that is 3. So 3, copy. And then 5 plus 3, that is equal to 8. Or 3 plus 5, that is equal to 8. And then 8 plus 7, the answer is equal to 15. 15 plus 10, that is 25. 25 plus 13, that is 38. 38 plus 9, that is 47. 47 plus 3, that is equal to 50. So as you can see, n is equal to 50, and then the total, that is equal to 50. Let us find the percentile class. The percentile class is between 61 to 70 because the row data is on 65. So the formula P sub PR, it is equal to 100 divided by N, multiply it with P minus LB times F sub B times I plus CF sub B. The value of N, that is equal to 50, let us replace and then copy 100. The row data, that is equal to 65 minus the lower boundaries, that is 60.5, let us copy. And then the frequency, of the percentile class that is equal to 13 and then the interval let us copy 10. Before 38 that is equal to 35 
So before the percentile class of the less than the cumulative frequency, that is 25, let us copy. So let us compute now. 100 divided by 50, the answer is equal to 2. And then 65 minus 60.5, that is 4.5. Copy 13, copy the denominator 10, copy 25. 4.5 times 13, so copy 2, the answer is equal to 58.5. Copy the denominator 10, copy 25. So P sub BR, it is equal to 2. 58.5 divided by 10, that is 5.85. Copy 25. So 5.85 plus 25, so copy 2, that is equal to 30.85. If we multiply 2 times 30.85, that is equal to 61.7. If we estimate in a whole number, that is 62. So the P sub BR is equal to 62. How we interpret that one? So it means 60% of the scores are less than 65. But then, what if more than 65? So 100 minus 62, that is 38 of the scores are greater than 65. In example number two, using above table, if one of the students got a score of 83, what is her percentile rank? So 83 is between 81 to 90. So this is the percentile class. The formula to identify the percentile rank, that is P sub BR, it is equal to 100 divided by N. Multiply it with P minus LD times F sub B over i plus cf sub p. Let us replace the value of n that is equal to 50. So 100 divided by 50. The row score that is equal to 83 minus the lower boundaries of the percentile class that is 80.5 minus 80.5. The frequency of the percentile class, the answer is 3. And then the interval that is equal to 10. Before 50, of the less than the cumulative frequency, that is 47. So let us copy plus 47. So let us compute now. 100 divided by 50, that is equal to 2. And then 83 minus 80.5, that is 2.5. So it means multiply 3, multiply, add, copy 10, and then copy 47. So let us multiply now 2.5 times 3. So copy 2. And then that is 7.5, copy 10, copy 47. So P sub BR, it is equal to 2. 7.5 divided by 10, the answer is 0 0.75, copy 47. 0 0.75 plus 47, copy 2, that is 47.75. 47.75 multiply with Y2, that is 95.5. If we round off to the nearest whole number, that is 96. The P sub PR, that is equal to 96. So it means students got a score of 83 is at the 96 percentile rank. Let us recap what you have learned about the percentile rank. How to find the percentile rank? If the given is group data and ungroup data. The formula for the percentile rank of the group data, that is the percentile of x, is equal to the number of values below x over n times 100. While the ungrouped data, that is p sub pr, it is equal to 100 divided by n, multiply it with the quantity p minus lv times f sub b times i plus cf sub b. Instruction. Complete the table and find the percentage of consultations who made 5,300 pesos and 2,900 pesos. Interpret the results. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. 
I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.